Hello and welcome to the Disney Patrol podcast. I am one of your two co-hosts, Keegan Turner. Across from me, as always, is Hayden Lyle. Today we will be getting into the best ways to save money on your next Disney vacation. So this episode will be structured a little bit differently. Usually we're kind of doing a back and forth. But today I'm going to be more asking the questions and listening because this is his topic of expertise. So without further ado, I'm going to pass it over to Hayden. He's going to get started. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about this one. I love talking about ways to save money for Disney. You know, when I was a kid, my mom was always trying to figure out little ways to save money for our vacations because, you know, we come from, both of us come from humble beginnings, you know, where we don't have right. rich parents or whatever. So pinching pennies and trying to find ways to save money was always a thing in my house. Um, so I'll, I'll hop right into it, get to my first tip. Um, book your vacation as soon as possible. Um, not only does it give you more ways to save, which maybe we'll hit on in another podcast, maybe even at the end of this one, um, but it allows you to add every Disney offer that applies to your vacation from the moment you book to the moment, you know, your vacation, the time of your vacation. Um, so for instance, if you book, you know, nine months in advance and six months down the line, uh, an offer comes up that applies to your vacation, you can add that to your vacation. Whereas if you haven't booked yet, you know, you can't add that and you're pretty much out of luck for that. So that's a great way. <clears throat> to save a couple hundred dollars there right off the bat, um, booking as soon as you can. Um, and moving right along, uh, this one is kind of controversial. You, if you look in the, if you're in the Facebook groups, I'm sure you see debates about this all the time. Um, but stay at a Disney resort, don't stay off site. Um, people argue about this all the time, but in my experience, staying at a Disney resort is almost always cheaper than staying off site when you add up all the other fees that are associated right, right. with an off site hotel. I mean, right off the bat, you get a serious discount on tickets when you stay at a Disney resort versus staying off off site. Even if you go through websites with quote unquote yeah, discounted so tickets, that's, that's where I want to jump in. As someone who doesn't know all this, the ads are always for what's what was what's it called I that mean, that website? Uh, they have hundreds of them, but the websites that are advertising save money on your next Disney vacation. Book outside of Disney. Save. Yeah, I mean, I know Undercover Tourist gets has discounted tickets, but I mean. Yeah, you're, well, they have that, but they also have discounted hotels off-site, which right. and really I mean, necessarily, as you're saying, isn't coming out to be true, like right. staying at Airbnbs and doing all that stuff. Right. A decent Airbnb or decent hotel in the Orlando area, like around Disney, is going to be expensive, a hundred to yeah. hundred twenty dollars a they, night. They this is what that's what people do. They stay there, right? For Disney. So you're gonna you're gonna spend hundred hundred twenty dollars a night versus you know one hundred fifty dollars a night at a Disney hotel. Yep. But then you gotta throw stuff in like hotel fees, parking fees, rental cars, which all those things are included or complimentary at a Disney hotel. So you know, yeah, free transportation is huge. It's gigantic. Yeah. You know, plus they have the the Minnie Mouse buses, which will take you anywhere you want to go um, for free. For for free, right? Where's and, anywhere though? I mean, if you want to go grocery shopping, they'll take you to Universal. There's a shuttle to Universal if you want to really? do that. Yep, all That's for free. All included. Wow. Um, See, that's the, I bet not a lot of people know that. Well, there is a fee, the the mini bus the mini buses are kind of like an Uber. You have to right. pay for those, but they're cheaper than using an Uber or a taxi or something like that. Okay. And shuttle to Universal is free. Interesting. Um, right. So if you if you throw a, a rental car in, if you're staying off site, I mean, for eight days, a rental car in our land, the Orlando Aero, including gas and everything, is probably going to run you somewhere around a thousand dollars. So you got to throw that on top of your hotel costs. And for sure. If you do that, I mean, it's almost always cheaper to stay in a Disney resort. Plus, you get all the amenities of staying on a Disney resort. It's going to be a nicer hotel. The the cast members are going to be friendly. You're going to have nice pools, good places to eat. Yeah, I mean, and again, especially the, at a time of year, you need to be at a pool. You don't have to worry about driving to the parks, yeah. worrying about parking, any of that. You know, so you get all the amenities, all the niceties, and if if anything, it's going to be very slightly more expensive, but most of the time it's going to be cheaper or the same price. So, and I mean, with all these included things you just listed, I mean, I think it's a no brainer. Right, exactly. Plus, like many of the more well known hotel hotel chains, you know, your Marriotts, your Hiltons, and stuff, yes. are going to be at the same cost or more than you know a, a, a value resort at Disney. So, I for me, it's a no brainer. Yeah. Uh, moving right along, um, my next tip is to get a premier Disney Visa Rewards card. Um, again, I feel like this one's kind of not very well known, um, but you know you get one percent cash back on all purchases, regardless of where it is. Um, and if you spend money at gas stations, restaurants, grocery stores, or Disney locations like the Disney Store, ESPN, etc., you get two percent cash back. And I mean, most of us are spending money at gas stations, restaurants, and grocery stores anyway. Yeah, I mean, especially a, a, a family of four or five. Right, 
exactly. So why not use the Disney Visa That's card huge. and get money that you can spend I mean, towards through, your vacation? If you're if you're planning a vacation for next year and you get that card, right? If you book, that's a year of getting cash right. back on gas and groceries yep. for a, a bigger size family. If you book as early as you can, which you should, if you're listening to any of our tips, um, you know, nine months, eight months down, you know, vacation down the road. If you're sp- using this card strictly for gas, restaurant, and groceries, that's an easy five hundred, six hundred dollars. Now, depending how big your family is. Um, what do you think about uh, flight tickets? What do you think you, they should do about buying these and when to get them? As far as discounts, them? I mean, not necess- Just when? When's a good time to do it? When you start your vacation, or you're gonna wait to see if they get cheaper? <laughs> tickets are are roulette. You just never know. I mean, right. sometimes the prices are high, sometimes they're low. The best way to get cheap tickets again is book your vacation as early as you can because then you can keep an eye on that. Yeah. So you think you should? They should get the tickets as they book for Disney. Not necessarily. I mean, I, if it were me, I would wait. Like, if you're booking nine months in advance, you know, go on Kayak or any discount ticket site, set an alert, and, you know, Yeah, I mean, we, we're, we're planning a trip, and we were just looking at plane tickets. Right, and it tells you that. It tells the you they're are, high, yeah, or, are high to set notifications when they drop, yeah. which is cool. So I highly suggest that as a tip. Yeah, that's a big, good recommendation. To, Definitely uh, check out Kayak check, or something. You can, to, I mean, if you drop 100 bucks, 50 bucks off everyone's flight yeah, ticket. It's another great way to save a couple hundred dollars. Save money. Absolutely. And just kind of harping back on the, the rewards card, not only do you get, you know, cash back, um, you also save 10% on any shopping or dining purchases inside of Disney World or Disneyland. Um, so, you know, you're saving money while you're at the parks, which is always huge. Um, you also save money on airline travel. You can redeem your points that, you know, that you've built up for mm. discounted airline travel. Um, so Just wanna, to Disney, though, right? Uh, yeah, to, on a flight to, to the Orlando Airport. But still, I mean, that's that's big. You also get special financing uh, on a Disney vacation if you want to pay for it or, you know, a part of that with said credit card. You get special financing with that. So again, another another plus for the Disney Premier cool. Visa Rewards card. That's a good tip. Um, another another one of my favorite tips is uh, take advantage of the Disney freebies. I know when you hear free in Disney, you know you kind of think those don't belong in the same <laughs> sentence because <laughs> what could be free in you know Disney World, but they do have quite a lot of things that are free that a lot of people don't know about. Um, one of the biggest I think is free water in any of the parks. That's any huge. Quick service stand or snack stand, they'll happily give you free water. All you got to do is ask and. Now you don't even have to ask at a lot of them. They just have a big cooler water with cups out there. You just walk wow. up and either fill your fill a water bottle up if you have one with you or, you know, fill up one of the cups that they have. And that's free water all day. So if, if you don't want to, you don't have to buy drinks all day, which, you know, if you've spent the $7 on a, a soda at Disney, you know how expensive that can be. So uh, saving money there is another good way to save money. Um, Another another good freebie is the celebration buttons. I'm sure you've seen people wearing oh, them yep, when yep. you were there, but they make great souvenirs. They're free, mm-hmm. and you know if you're wearing them and the right cast member sees you, you might get some free fast passes. Yep. They might move you to the front of the line, or they might just you know smile at you. It's yeah, they're it's def- all pluses. It's definitely something to uh, definitely to, if you yeah. if, if first time, I think you should definitely get absolutely. It. And all you got to do is ask, and you know you get a free nice little souvenir. Yeah. And most of the time, they will give you a fast pass or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean I've I've definitely gotten my fair yeah. share of fast yeah. passes for having a button on. So definitely worth looking into um another great little freebie souvenir uh is the kidcot crafts and epcot uh they change every year i mean one time it was a bear and i remember uh they do passports and stuff like that um and kids love making them um again they are free they have them in every country you know you go around there's a little station they give you a cool little stamp they put your name in the language of that uh country and you get to color them um, they make great little souvenirs for kids i know in my mom's scrapbook room upstairs i've, I've got them since i was like three years yeah. old so you know they're they're great to have around um and also at every disney resort um they have movies at night free disney movies at night that they project on a big screen outside i feel like a lot of people don't know about this no um, i was gonna say i, I did not know yeah, about if that you look one. at the That's calendars at your they're at all resorts most resorts most not resorts? all of them but okay. if you look at the calendar for the events going on it, i'm sure it says something about a movie now do you know of any other events that the resorts throw other than um, the fort wilderness has campfires oh, um, cool. I, I know that um art of animation used to have art classes um, I don't know if they still do that anymore. I'd have to look into that. But a lot of resorts have a lot of free stuff going on that you can do. Um, there's cornhole and stuff at pools. I know we stay at Port Orleans all the time. They've got um, bingo, Disney trivia, cornhole stuff at the pool. So it's all kinds of free events going on at your resort hotel that you probably don't know about. So definitely grab a hold of a, a, a schedule for your Disney resort hotel and check that out because it's a great way to not only save money on there, but like if you're on a long vacation and you don't want to go to the parks every day, you know, you can save money on park tickets by not going to the park, you know, every day and staying at your hotel and doing all those free yep. free events. So 
definitely check that out. So I just um did a quick uh, fact check on the um, the art of animation. They're still doing them. Um, certain times a day, they're held in the lobby from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. So definitely keep an eye out for that, for right. sure. So That's yeah, a really so cool opportunity really to do cool. for free. Just a little caveat there. I know that this was a big complaint to some people. If, if you're not staying at the art of animation, you probably shouldn't be going there for the free <laughs> art classes. I mean, right. I, I know they don't check to see if you're staying there when they have the art classes. Um, so, you know, if you can... If you're not staying there, you know. That's, a, lot, a lot of these tips are a disclaimer. Don't abuse yeah, the system. Well, yeah, I mean, that just goes with life, you know. Don't take advantage of people, but, you know, that, that's for the art of animation guests, so don't be taking buses over there and, and taking advantage of the free art classes. Um, but anyway, moving on. Um, another tip that we always use in my family was don't eat lunch or, well, don't eat a big lunch. I know a lot of people, when they're in Disney, they're eating three square meals a day, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But, you know, what we always did was we ate a normal breakfast, and then for lunch we would either bring snacks from our hotel and just munch on those for lunch, or we'd buy it, you know, a turkey leg and some pretzels to split between yeah. our family, and that would always hold us over for dinner. Not only does that save you money, it saves you time, so you have more time to do stuff because you're not wasting an hour and a half at lunch. So you have more time to do activities and you're also, you know, a little hungrier for dinner. Um, so my mom always hated when my brother wasted food at dinner because, you know, that's a $15, $20 plate of food that's, you know, going in the trash. Right. So it makes you hungry for dinner. It, it definitely saves you money if you're on a longer vacation, not eating lunch. I mean, an $8 snack is cheaper than the 12 to 15 you're going to spend on a quick service meal. And if you're doing a sit down, I mean, you're saving easily $20 a yeah, meal per for person. Sure, for so sure. another great way to save, um, if you plan on trading pins with cast members, definitely purchase them before your vacation. Um, you know, a $1 eBay pin is definitely cheaper than the 7 to $12 you're going to spend on a pin in Disney. Very true. Um, another kind of frowned upon tip. Um, but Disney cast members have to trade pins with you if you ask. Um, you know, they're not allowed to say no. So if you have a, you know, one little cheapy dollar cheapy it's pin from fact. eBay and you see they have a nice pin that you want, you know, you ask nicely. They're gonna trade with you, so that's definitely something to keep in mind. I mean, again, have you ever have you ever done that? Abuse the system like that, or just let's just say just trade. Oh yeah, I've traded with cast <laughs> members before. I mean, I you know you try not to abuse the system, be a good person, be a good sport about it, but something to keep in the back of your mind. That's um, cool. Yeah, that's ab- definitely a, a cool. Absolutely, fact. it's a good I, way I, to save a money. A lot of people, I'm sure, don't know about that one. No, no, that's you know that's what we're trying to do here, just help people out. Um, another good one is if you're in Epcot. Um, Try to dine outside the park. A lot of, well, I feel like a good people amount of people don't know, but you can just walk to the boardwalk right from Epcot. You don't have to take a bus or anything. Right in the back of between France and the UK, there's an exit for the boardwalk. All you have to do is walk out. They'll stamp your hand, and you can just come right back in whenever you're done. But the food out there is usually cheaper than, you know, places like Le Cellier and stuff like that yeah, inside of Epcot. Of yep. Um, so if you don't mind leaving Epcot, you know, definitely check that out. I know one of the big draws of Epcot is sure. yeah, about to say the that. great food. I mean, I that's the reason I go to Epcot is because I love the food there. Yes. I love the diversity of the food there, and, and you know that's great and all. I think for if people aren't going with kids, they're definitely hitting Epcot for different like the drinking, right? Drinking around the world, yeah. the food and all that. But like if if you're eight, you know your eighth day there, you've done Epcot twice. You know, maybe yeah, go yeah. Out, check the boardwalk save out, some money, save not? some money. There's dueling pianos, there's ESPN. You cool. know, I love ESPN. There's all kinds of cool restaurants out that there. So yeah, that that place is awesome. So definitely check that out. Um. Let's see. Ah, another good one. My mom always made us do this. Buy your ponchos before you go on vacation. You know, you can buy a 20-pack a of ponchos on Amazon for 10 bucks. you know, $2 a poncho versus the $10 a poncho they charge you in Disney. And the ponchos you get in Disney now, not that great anymore. I mean, they used to have those cool yellow ones with Mickey on the back. Yep, they, yep. You know, they were a cool souvenir. Now they're just clear. They're cheap. They're thin. They always Very rip. Very thin, yeah. So you might as well just buy them before. You save a bunch of money. You're seriously better off with a trash bag. Like, they're, they're, oh, they're terrible. Oh, they're, they're not great. And they, they upcharge the heck out of them because they know that when it rains, you need them. Little side note, they do sell umbrellas now, and they are kind of nice. They do have, you know, Mickey cool. on them and everything. So if you're going to buy something for rain from Disney, I'd shoot for an umbrella and not a poncho because the ponchos are, are pretty much trash. Um, so definitely buy those before you go. Um, this one, without a doubt, probably my favorite tip in the whole list, buy a resort refillable mug. Yes, that they're, is a must, they're, absolute must. They're $15, $16, and, you know, you're going to – get your money back in two refills of them. I mean, especially if you're on a longer stay, 
um, you're going to make yeah, your money back you, 10 go times back, over. When you go back to your room, you can just come get drinks yeah, and I mean, relax. We always did that. Pool, Me and my siblings, we come back from a long day at the parks, change into our pajamas or yep. whatever. We'd you know, walk down to the to the dining area and refilm, and we would do that two or three times a night. Yeah. Every night we're there on you know on a 10-day vacation, That's that adds up. That adds up quick. It definitely adds up quick. And it's kind of fun, you know, walking to the to the dining. Yeah, area. I know. I I stayed at Treehouse Villas one time and had to walk quite quite <laughs> a far away. Well, that's a haul. But yeah, quite a far away <laughs> to fill my cup up. If you're staying in a more conventional <laughs> resort, it's not not that bad yeah. of a walk. So uh, just to, to pause here and take a quick break for our sponsors, and uh, we will be right back with more tips to save money. This podcast is brought to you by Walton Co. Walton Co. creates park inspired apparel for Disney nerds, big and small. Their apparel is all hand-printed on only the highest quality of garments, and their customer service is second to none. As a thank you to our listeners, Walton Co. would like to offer you 15% off your first order. Just use the code PATROL15 at checkout, and they'll take care of the rest. Walton Co., bring the magic right to your front door. All right, so getting right back into it, another another great one I've got here is plan your vacation for off-peak times. Um, this is probably, you'll probably save the most money planning your vacation for off-peak times. Um, I know when me and you were looking at a vacation, we're looking for May right now and we're looking at the value resorts and it's about $140, $145 a night. And we were also looking at January and January for the same hotel was around 340 to $350 a night. Ridiculous. So it's more than twice the cost. And that's just because it's, it's an on peak time. That's when they're expecting to be busy. That's around Christmas. You know, that's a crazy time for them. So they upcharge it because they know people want to go. Versus May when it's it's the slower season, kids are still in school. Yeah, we're we're planning our trip for for May. So. Right, and it's an off peak time, so the hotels are much cheaper, park tickets are much cheaper, so it's it's definitely cheaper to stay well, off peak well, times. We're looking at 140, 150 right 140 now. 140 a night, and I think park tickets are like 160, 170 so a day. They're basically doubling at peak times. More than that. So it's, it's more definitely than a good idea. Even if you're pulling your kids out of school or something, it's definitely you're saving money. Right. I mean, May is May is most college kids are out, but in, yeah. in high school, middle school, elementary school, yeah. those kids are still going to be definitely in. Definitely something to think about. Right. So it's it's definitely a great way to save, and I mean, it it's the probably the biggest way to save money on this whole list is is planning for all absolutely vacation times absolutely. and kind of right along the same lines is try to plan when they offer a free dining plan. Um, they usually offer the free dining plan at the end of the summer, you know, August September area like that. You never really know when they're going to do it. Um, yeah. They usually announce it five, six months in advance, so they do give you a little bit of time to, to plan. But if it, if you're thinking about doing it kind of towards the end of the summer, plan it for August, plan it for September. So they're doing free meal plans. They do, they have one right now. Yep. They will until they, just ended. It uh, yeah just ended. Okay. Right before Star Wars Land opened, they had it. I believe. Yeah, that makes um, sense. But I mean, meal plan even the cheapest ones twelve hundred dollars for oh my you know for God. a family so. It's a huge way to save money. It's, it's free food. I mean, the cheapest one, you get two quick service meals and I think a snack um, for everyone. But I mean, so you're only going to pay for dinner, basically, which is monumental savings for a, huge, for a bigger family. Even, even if you're going with two people, it's still a great yeah. way to save money. Especially so. if you're going there for a couple, like eight days, yeah. free food so definitely, for eight days. Definitely keep an eye on that. Um, Undercover Tourist has a great calendar for the off-peak times at Disney. What yeah, the, shout out to them. They're yeah, what the a, costs very, are, a so, very good yeah, resource. We'll link, we'll link that in the, yeah, that'll in be the, in the, description in the show below. notes or whatever, but that's a great thing to ch- uh, calendar to check out if you're trying to find the off-peak times to plan for. So definitely check that out. We'll have that in the comments. Um, moving along, another great one I have is uh, skip the park hopper option if you can. If you're staying, you know, for a shorter amount of time, you know, two, three, four days. Yeah, I'd say anything under four, it's worth just. Yeah, you might skip need the it. park hopper to try to get everything done. But if you're staying, you know, five days and over, skip the park hopper. I mean, you're going to be able to get most, if not everything, done, and you're going to save sixty to seventy dollars a person easily without the park hopper. For sure. Um, and right, you know, included in the park hopper thing is don't do the water parks. Um, I mean, definitely not. By all means, if that's your favorite thing in Disney World to do, go to the water parks. But I know for me and my parents, they they did not like the water parks. It's really easy to lose a kid there. You got people peeing in the water. It's terrible if it rains there because you know they shut down the water parks immediately if it rains and everyone rushes to the buses. It's a mess getting out of there. And you know the lines for the water slides are crazy, and it's just it's just chaos for lack of a better term. It's chaos at the water parks. And it's. I, I mean, I went there once. I went to Typhoon Lagoon. And it was in the Lazy River. Is literally. It's bumper you, to bumper yeah, traffic. You cannot move. It, it's a parking You're lot. You're not moving. It's crazy. You're bumping into people you don't know. Everyone's miserable. Yeah. You're baking in the it's Florida hot. heat. It's yeah. hot. The water's hot. It's like just there's just not. nothing. I highly suggest that if you're thinking about going to the water park, don't. 
Yeah, save yourself, save yourself the time and then the, the money. agony, especially with little kids. Stay at they'll have fun for like twenty five minutes. Right, stay at your resort hotel pool, do the free stuff that's around there. Yeah. You know, you'll save yourself the headache for sure. So another great way to save money because I think the the pool, the water park option is another sixty seventy dollars on top of the park offers. So you know, cut that one out altogether. And another great way to save money. And the last one I have on my list here is another un, you know well unknown one, and you know really only applies to people with younger children, but. Uh, kids under three do not need a p- ticket to enter the parks, and they also don't need a, r- a magic band or a ticket. Yeah, to enter I think the fast, a lot of th- a lot of people are kind of well. A lot of people are on the fence about bringing fence, kids yeah. that young to the park in general, just because um, they don't know if it's worth spending the money. Right, because right. they they can't they, ride they, a lot. They can't ride, and also they won't remember it. So right, a lot exactly. of people are on the fence, but I mean, you might as well. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not going to cost anything. They eat for free. Yeah, they don't have to pay a park ticket for them. They can enter any line they want. So I mean. Unless, you know, you're worried about them, I don't know, not being able to go on anything or being scared of everything and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. If, the, if you don't have those concerns, I say bring them along because it doesn't cost you anything. Yeah. That's so. Other than a headache, but. Right. I mean, it, it can't hurt. All right. And with that, that's that's the last tip I've got. I mean, I know we kind of wanted to hit on uh, ways to save money at the end of the podcast. Uh, do you got any anything that how you guys used to save for your vacations? Save up, yeah. Um, yeah. So I mean, as similar to you, we used to uh, put all of our change in jars and the old Disney jar. Yeah, do all stuff like that. Um, we also had a swear jar at one point, so <laughs> that that was essentially the same thing. I think that got more money than our yeah, our sure. Disney jar did. Sure, in your house, <laughs> yeah, that got, got some use. So yeah, um, I we, know you guys do a lot of cans and bottles, right? We had, well, we had the Disney jar, and I always love like you know. We always we'd on, we'd open it up like two three weeks before vacation. We yep. have our whole family come and roll coins, and that was always a good way to make you know a couple hundred dollars easy. And like you said, we also collected cans and bottles, and same thing. We go to the redemption center, or whatever, and that wasn't as much money, but you know it's still an extra one hundred two hundred bucks that we get to bring and spend on food. Yeah, so. and recently you've been doing some scrap metal stuff too. Yep, collecting scrap metal, yeah, copper, all money. that. That's another yeah. great way to save money if you if you're into that. I mean, that one's a little more labor intensive and involved. Right, but if but you have something, someone working. And involved in some sort of aspect. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, or, like around here, there's just a ton of construction going on. Yeah, so yeah. there's a bunch of copper wire. It's definitely, and, it's definitely something to look into. Yeah, absolutely. Another great way to save money for Disney for sure. All right. Well, with that being said, we'll uh, start, we'll wrap things up yeah, here. Absolutely. Um, so everything will be in the uh, the links below in the description. So that is our all of our social media links, our, our YouTube, our Instagram, our Facebook, our blog. That's what we started on. And yeah, so if you're listening, we'll we'll try to set something up for you guys too. But we're gonna try to make this an open forum, so questions we will answer them. Yeah, we're trying to get some way to either a ideally we'd be able to have you guys ask us questions live, so we can answer them right yes, here on the right, show. Right. But if not, we you know we want to have a way for you guys to ask us questions, so we can answer them. And you know, the next episodes, you know, we want to make this a way for you guys to be able to talk to us, so we can share the knowledge that we have with you, and vice versa. You know, we don't know everything. We'd love to hear from you, get feedback from you guys, yep. um, to help us out the best we can with the show. And uh, as always, thank you for tuning in, and we'll uh, we'll see you next time.